guys, Chris. Last week I did a test of the POP 3D scanner looking at the accuracy of using the uh, markers on a turntable and I got accuracies in the 0.3 millimeter range which is what it was uh, specced as. 3D models from a scanner like the POP have two sources of error. One is the single scan accuracy of the sensor and the other one is the alignment error of taking each of those scans and putting them together. I was interested in how the POP 3D scanner would do on very large objects using its large field of view and specifically using the marker alignment versus the feature based alignment. The POP 3D scanner takes eight images a second. You get a 3D image so as an analogy this piece of paper is a single scan of a flat plate. So it gets eight of these a second. The issue that you get is that you have to be able to align the data from the first scan to the second scan. When you have a, a scan of a plane, the problem, they're not constrained. There's no features, so they don't know, the algorithm doesn't know how to put the two plates together to make a combined 3D scan. So you need to use markers. You need a minimum of three points visible in both the first and second scans to constrain the two so they can be aligned. These three points that are visible in both images keep the alignment from being able to be rotated or translated. A third image also needs three points to be able to align it. So in this case, if you use this as the third scan, now we've use these six points that were visible so far to align the first, second, and third scan. The software has to very carefully find the center of each of these three circles. And by using special algorithms, the best you can normally get for sub-pixel centers is about a tenth of a pixel. Uh, usually it's more like a fifth of a pixel. The problem that you get, or the error that occurs, is that Every time you find these alignments between two images or two scans, there may be a very slight error in finding the circles and doing the alignment. And so what happens is eventually the error at the end of the scan is much greater because each scan that you add in adds error. I've got this large piece of float glass. It's about five and a half feet by one and a half feet wide and I think about a quarter inch thick very flat and I want to use it for a test. The experiment I'm going to do is to take a couple hundred scans of this large piece of float glass. It's extremely flat. I've painted it white and I've put markers on it. I'm using this mic stand as a way to hold the 3D scanner at a fixed distance above the plate. I set the height of the scanner by moving it until the reading just went inside to the good. At about 360 millimeters above the plate, that gives you a uh, 220 by 150 millimeter field of view. The mesh size seems to vary. It looks like the data was decimated, but the uh, smallest voxel seems to be in the 0.75 to 0.8 millimeter range. Once I finish the scan, I'm going to save out the mesh and best fit a plane to it. Then I'm going to compare the plane and the mesh and see how much error there is. Red dots indicate the markers that were found and we need at least three and you can see we're getting much more.
I'm going to stop it, complete the scan. That's going to fuse the point clouds together. I'm going to mesh it and I will fill the holes because it's going to basically fill over where the targets were. Now we have the mesh and I'm going to save it out. I've loaded the mesh in and I'm going to select an area of the initial scan to fit a plane to. So this is the best fit plane. We've compared the mesh to the plane that was fit into this area, initial data, and you can see the scale here is red is 0 0.442 millimeters plus and the cyan is minus 15. So as we scanned along here, the error kept on increasing, increasing, increasing until eventually at the end we we're 15 millimeters off. The scan was 163 millimeters in this direction and 1.37 meters this direction. And so over 1.37 meters we had a 15 millimeter error. This result is not unexpected. I mean, leapfrog error is common, but don't expect to get really great results when you do large areas with a small area scanner. If this information was helpful, please hit like and subscribe, and have a great day.